At the turn of the 20th century, disseminated and even primary pulmonary fungal infections were almost uniformly fatal. Then, in the 1950s, a drug was isolated from Streptomyces bacteria. This drug class, called the polyenes, revolutionized the treatment of fungal infections. Amphotericin B remains the broadest spectrum agent. This drug is made up of seven conjugated double bonds and a macrolide ring. The ampho, part of the name amphotericin, comes from the fact that this drug is amphoteric and amphophilic. Amphotericin B's antifungal activity depends on its binding to ergosterol in the cell membrane, forming cylindrical pores or channels that allow cations and other small molecules to leak out of the cell. This depolarizes the cell membrane, resulting in cell death. Amphotericin is not absorbable from the GI tract. It remains largely protein-bound in plasma. Because it is not eliminated renally nor hepatically, azotemia or liver failure do not alter plasma concentrations or dosing. The major downside of amphotericin B remains its serious side effects. We can think of these in two categories. The first category are infusion reactions. This cytokine-mediated phenomenon is experienced by most patients in the form of fevers, chills, rigors, nausea, or vomiting. These infusion-related side effects may be lessened by slowing infusion time or with prophylactic treatment. The other major side effects can be thought of as acute to chronic. Amphotericin B is extremely nephrotoxic, resulting in acute kidney injury from direct renal tubular toxicity. This also results in electrolyte disturbances. This nephrotoxicity takes weeks to months to recover. The older, conventional deoxycholate amphotericin B formulations from the 1950s has been by and large replaced by newer, but much more expensive, lipid formulations. The three different lipid formulations available each allow for larger doses to be given with significantly reduced infusion-related side effects and less long-term nephrotoxicity. With its broad spectrum activity, amphotericin B may be used in resistant, severe, or disseminated superficial infections, endemic fungal infections, or opportunistic fungal infections. Inducible resistance is very rare, but a very few species have inherent resistance. Flucytosine, the precursor to 5-fluorouracil, is a chemotherapeutic agent that interferes with DNA synthesis. It has predictably severe toxicity. Because it has excellent penetration of the CNS, it is used in combination with amphotericin B for treating cryptococcal meningitis. Dual therapy has been shown to improve mortality when compared with using amphotericin B alone. Flucytosine is never used as a single agent as rapid resistance occurs.